This is crazy. See, I do triple tap here twice and all the files are copied here on my list. Right, this copying in your phone and paste in your laptop is a known feature by now. Apple started it and others got inspired. However, these features you get usually on phones above 30,000. But today we have this. So this is the Infinix Note 40 Pro 5G and this is also Pro Plus. We'll get to the difference and everything in the video. But this has ecosystem features and the best part is the pricing. Like all of this under 20,000 rupees with bank offers and everything. And at that price, you're getting pretty interesting features. Like see on the back here, you get wireless mag charge. Hashtag inspiration. Now I have a few questions. Should phones take inspiration from other phones? If they do, at what cost? Because see, brands will have to keep the price competitive. Infinix can't go head to head with Apple. So some cutbacks somewhere will happen. But will those matter to us, the user? Let's find that out. You get this green box. I don't remember the last time I saw a phone box all green in color. Inside you get the phone, paperwork, USB A to Type-C cable, SIM ejector tool and a charger. These are pretty standard. But Infinix is giving some extra goodies. Like you get the stickers, this cool Mac charge case. We'll get to this in a moment. Also this, a curved tempered glass plus installation kit. I, I want to try this out. I mean, you need the hands of a surgeon to apply tempered glass. But overall, this was like a very wholesome unboxing. Plus one for Infinix after a long time. Now, the very first thing that I noticed with this phone is the design. You get a vegan leather back with this olive color i don't remember which brand started this trend of vegan leather but i quite like it like it makes the phone grippy in the hands no fingerprint and doesn't break when you drop it the only thing is vegan leather is prone to scratches if you keep it with keys and also don't mix your pockets other than that you get a polycarbonate frame and it weighs around this much which is also normal but what is not normal is this this lights up when you're charging the phone or when you receive a notification it has rgb on it you can customize the color and it's a cool to have feature now i would say the three standout features of this phone is starting with watching videos it is a 6.78 inch 120 hz amoled display see i'll play this costa rica video colors brightness and all are pretty good this is an hdr video plus since this is a curved screen you get this infinite effect like the video bends at the side and you feel as if the display is larger also infinix says it has 1300 nits of peak brightness so we used it outdoors under direct sunlight see the icons and all are pretty visible it has dolby atmos plus see here you get speaker grills here on the top and oh these are tuned by jbl Damn, these are loud. For the price, I would say the speakers are above average. All in all, watching videos and movies on this phone is pretty nice. The second standout feature of this phone is this. It charges magnetically. Now there is a twist here. See, the phone in itself doesn't have magnetic charging. See, it will not stay. But the case has magnets. Infinix is calling it Mag Charge. So in simple words, the phone has wireless charging and the case has magnets. If you connect both of them, it becomes magnetic wireless charging. And they also have other charging accessories like this Mac pad, this Mac power, which is a wireless power bank. And Infinix is calling this Mac kit. It will be available on Flipkart for 4999. Also, I read that this will be available for free for the people who pre-order the phone. And if you think this is enough wireless charging, that's not it. There's also reverse wireless charging here. So you can charge your TWS watch and any other phone. So getting wireless plus reverse wireless charging at this price is something new. Also see here in the settings, Infinix has bypass charging. Let me see if I can demonstrate this. Now I'll connect this phone to charge. Now I'll run the 3D Mark benchmark first without bypass charging. And now you can see what the temperature is. And now I'll use bypass charging. And see here, the phone was cooler when bypass charging was activated. So in simple words, bypass charging is when you're playing games while the phone is charging, the power goes directly to the phone and not the battery. This way, the battery doesn't heat up and your phone stays cool and no frame drops. I'll get to the gaming and performance in just a moment, but if you put so much charging mechanism in a phone, how does it deal with it? So we asked Infinix, what about heat? What about the battery management? So they have a dedicated Cheetah X1 chip, which is responsible for the dedicated power management of the smartphone. Other than this, the Infinix Note 40 Pro has two variants. There is one 5000 mAh battery variant which has 45 watt charging and there is note 40 pro plus which have 4600 mAh battery at 100 watts charging from our experience they should easily last you one day in normal use and let me show you something cool see if i connect the charger the notification shows up like this now where we have seen this before hmm. Which brings me to the software. It comes with Android 14 out of the box and Infinix is promising two plus three years of Android updates. And here are a few interesting things on the software side of things. Like see here, no hot apps or hot games, which is nice. Other brands should take note. Also, Infinix has implemented quite a few AI features. Let me show you the ones that I like. First, you get ChatGPT in the new Folex Assistant. So if I say something like this, Hi Folex, how many calories in a samosa? On average, a single samosa may contain around 100 to 300 calories. What if I add sauce? Adding sauce to a samosa can increase the calorie content depending on the type and amount of sauce used. 
Eating a samosa with a sauce is quite a lot of calories. So I can ask it follow-up questions. Only catch here is it is powered by GPT 3.5 and not the latest GPT 4. Second, see I can connect the phone with my laptop and three finger tap here. It copies on the phone and control V I can paste it on the laptop. Third, there is this AI sky replacement. So in the camera you have this option and see here before clicking the picture I can replace the sky to anything I want. Generally most phones do this after the photo is taken. Here the Note 40 Pro is doing it while the photo is being taken. I mean. That's nice. Which brings me to the cameras and things are interesting here. So you get a 108 megapixel main camera with OIS and rest of the cameras are depth camera and macro camera. And during daytime, the pictures are fine. Like the skin tone colors and all, they are okay. We even click the pictures in portrait mode. It did a decent job. Also, one thing that we noticed that by default in portrait mode, the beauty mode is on. So you'll have to turn it off once. And you also get a 32 megapixel main selfie shooter. Even the selfies from it are okay. HDR and all is just about fine. Well, the main camera takes decent photos. Two important things are to note over here. Number one, there is no ultra wide angle camera. This is macro camera and depth camera, I believe. And number two is the video maxes out at 2K 30 FPS. Even in selfie video, you can do maximum 2K 30 FPS. And I believe this is because of the processor. So overall, the camera is average for the price. Now the phone is running on Dimensity 7020. Also see here, if I open a 4K video on YouTube, it is sometimes stuck to 480p. But if I send a 4K video here, see, it will not open. Other than that, you get 8GB LPDDR4X RAM and 256GB UFS 2.2 storage. While these are fine for normal day-to-day -day stuff, taking calls, watching videos, or even playing casual games. However, if you play games like BGMI, you will have to lower down the setting. Which brings me to the burning question. Should phones take inspiration from other phones? Well, see, as long as it enhances the experience, why not? Take Infinix Note 40 Pro for instance, Mac charge, AI in assistant, that halo light, clipboard sync and all of that, these are good features. And the really good thing is these ecosystem features are not limited to one laptop. You can use it with any Windows laptop, which is what Android stood for. Now I'm not sure about the exact pricing and offers of the phone, but the Infinix Note 40 Pro will launch under 20,000 with bank offers and everything. Like what is the one most important thing that you look for in a smartphone? Let us know in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one. This is Pratik signing off. Pew pew.